and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be planning for the week of January 30th through February 5th in my big catch-all happy planner. So we're starting real strong on the Valentine's Day spreads uh, with this one. I have some fun stickers pulled for today's spread. I knew I wanted to use this sheet of uh, Create with Mandy Love You Lots hearts. I think they're adorable with like the quotes in the hearts, all the different colors. You can use my code Caitlin10 to save 10% off at Create with Mandy. So I knew this was going to be the one that I used today. This is probably my favorite sheet that came out of her Valentine's Day release. They're all so cute, but this one is my favorite. And my initial idea was that I would pair them with this according to Allie red twill I thought it would look really cool to layer the hearts on top of like these really intricate twill drawings to do like a little bit more of like a vintagey valentine's kind of thing you can also use my code Caitlin 10 to save 10% off it according to Allie so the two sheets of those that was my original idea and then I was sorting through a bunch of craft supplies I'm reorganizing some stuff in here and I found some scrapbook paper that I hadn't thought about in a while this sheet came from Joann's. It is Jen Hadfield Peaceful Heart. It's called New Day. And I just love all of the different colors of florals. And I thought, oh, it would look so good with the hearts. Like the color palette kind of matches up. I like how playful it is. And then it wouldn't be such a traditional Valentine's Day spread. So that was my other idea. I did a poll on my Instagram stories this morning asking, okay, should I do it with the tool or should I do the scrapbook paper? And it was split 50-50. And then I looked at like the pile of things that I had going on off to the side of the couch because I just kind of gathered them up. And I think the right move is just to do all of them. It'll be busy, but I think it'll pay off. So I'm going to combine these uh, different elements together. And for a few miscellaneous things, I grabbed the like little confetti stars off of the delicate peonies sheet which was my black friday exclusive sticker design and then i also grabbed these gold foiled heart stickers probably won't use these as a functional boxes but it might be nice to like layer in some additional hearts i was searching for more heart shaped stickers so that they would kind of be smaller than these because they're all kind of similarly sized so i thought maybe something a little smaller might be nice but i didn't have a lot of luck there so maybe the gold foiled heart boxes would layer well with them. Not sure yet, but I'm going to go ahead and pop this off the discs and we will get started. So my concept with the scrapbook paper, instead of ripping it and doing torn edges like I would normally do with a scrapbook paper, is to actually fussy cut around these clusters of flowers because they're all kind of divided out by color. I want to do like multiple colors in each clump of the scrapbook paper but I want to kind of fussy cut around the borders of this just to keep the shapes a little bit more organic I suppose. So I have my usual scissors but they might be a little bit big for this kind of fussy cutting and while I was organizing all the craft supplies it's amazing what you find when you sort through the craft room. I found these Archer and Olive stationery scissors that I got in the most recent subscription box. And I thought maybe these would be a little bit better for doing the fine details of this scrapbook paper. So let's see what I can do with this. I will say that it's been snowy here. It's been very snowy here. We've got a few inches of snow on the ground. It was kind of a traffic nightmare last night and I'm happy I wasn't out on the road, but we were watching the cars try to come up like the street out the window and it was just not <laughs> it was not a good night to be driving so the streets are bad they are snow plowing a lot today i can hear them doing the snow plowing so there might be some points where i need to just like awkwardly cut this video so that the snow plow noise doesn't like hurt all of your ears just mine um I don't know what's going on with the weather. We lost power for a good hour and a half this morning. And, you know, you always like say, okay, I'm prepared for like the power to go out. It's not going to affect me that much. And then it happens and it's like, well, what do I do with myself? <laughs> Couldn't charge my phone. And then I'm like, oh, wait, Wi-Fi isn't working, obviously. So didn't have internet except for like data. So I deal with that. And that made my phone die a lot faster. Um... It was the morning, so I didn't have to worry about, like, the lights not working, per se, but it was annoying because it woke me up because it's just, like, that sudden quietness. Everything just shuts off. All the, like, electrical noise of, like, the fridge and the fan and, like, all that kind of stuff, it just shuts off all at once, and it's like, what? what is going on? And I'm someone who likes to sleep with, like, a lot of fans, um... 
like the ceiling fan. We don't even have a ceiling fan. I have one in my own apartment, but it's like ceiling fan, box fan, tower fan, all the fans and all my fans shut off. And I'm like, okay, nope, I can't sleep anymore. My fans are gone. Um, so that was the excitement of my morning. I'm cutting around these shapes and I think this is gonna be a more involved process than I originally intended for it to be, but I think it'll look cute. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do this one section and I'll be back in just a moment. So the shape doesn't look exactly as fluid as I thought it was going to. I thought it'd be much better like curved edges, but it does look good. So I'm gonna take this one. I can't decide if I want it like right there or if I want it probably here to cover up the this week's list icon. I just can't stand that. And it's double-sided scrapbook paper. It's super thick scrapbook paper because it is that double-sided like card stocky kind of material so that's also why it was a little bit difficult to get around some of the curves on there but we made it work okay so this is gonna go just like down here into this corner and then we can start layering some fun stickers on top of it there are a few areas where like the border gets a little weird where some of the colors were overlapping. Some of the flowers are overlapped in between the different colored blobs. So I could just cover it up with stickers. That's kind of what I was thinking. But first I need to like readjust because I had to reset up the camera stuff after I reorganized everything. And I think I'm just like weirdly acquainted with where is in frame and where is out of frame. So this seems a little bit more in frame taking my two sheets of stickers and let's just start strong. I'm going to layer some bigger stickers over here. I like to build up these large corner clusters. So I'll start with the twill or at least one piece of the twill and then let's pick one of the heart shapes. I'm going to go with you are loved and I thought it could be fun to have some of them overlapping the hearts and some of them just like behind the heart. I got this sheet sent to me because I am an affiliate for According to Allie and I was one of the top affiliates for the month. I don't remember what month this one is from, but I, I received all the new sheets and I got this one and I love her twill stickers, but I couldn't figure out for the life of me what I wanted to do with the red twill. I think this was from like Halloween kind of season. So I had a few hunches like maybe I could make it like super spooky for Halloween but I ended up just deciding you know we'll just put it aside something will strike me inspiration will find me eventually and I think this is the right move so I like it kind of clustered around that heart um I'm gonna do a different color of heart so this one says I love you and we could do it like right there or I could put it a little bit lower onto the scrapbook paper which I don't mind but then it'll cover up part of the butterfly. We can peel the butterfly up. That's not the end of the world. So I love you is gonna go like right down here, put that butterfly back into place. And then I'll take just another flower to give a pop of the twill down in this corner. I'm gonna cut this off for the most part, but I just want a pop of that red and white line work. I think that worked out pretty well. So this is gonna get saved because it's gonna get used later on in the spread. It's just gonna live back on the sheet for the time being. It's busy, but I think it's really fun. And I like that it's not just kind of a monochrome thing with just reds and pinks. I like that the other colors of the florals really bring out just how playful this is. I think it'll turn out really cute once I get some more little clusters on the pages. So I'm gonna go back to the scrapbook paper sheet and another thing that I can do with this is just cut out like single colored blobs and they don't need to be edge pieces. They could be just like standalone blobby pieces of this so I can put them in the middle of the spread. I'm going to cut this purple section out real fast. And I could probably use an X-Acto knife to do the same job, but it's really thick cardstock paper. So I don't think I'd be able to get the cuts as like clean as I'd like. I just would have to put a lot of pressure on cutting the paper and I don't have like a cutting mat here right now. So I think this is gonna be my best bet with the scissors. So I've got this like kind of random shape, which I think is fun. And we could even like bring it up all the way onto the top of the spread. 
going up in between Tuesday and Wednesday like that. It, it's something, you know? It's fun to play around with, like, different shapes and textures. I'm adding in the rest of this tulip because it just, like, felt like it would fit there. Does it fit there? I'm not sure, but it's going to live there now. And then I'll grab one of these. We'll pick another one of these. Um, this is the biggest one, and then these three, I think, are the same size. So let's go with one of the smaller ones. We've got Love You Lots, Love You More, Forever and Ever, My Love, My Heart. I like that this one's a different color, but I feel like if I save these three for the other side of the spread, these two are the same color, so I should pick one of the same colored ones to go over here. I'm going to take Forever and Ever because I think it could be kind of fun to pair these two together, like Love You Lots, Love You More, um, kind of in a cluster like this. And then I'm going to pre-layer this with the flower. It looks a little weird to have them both kind of on this half, but I think this will do. And I can balance it out with something like this bird that just kind of hangs out here. Birds forever and ever. Nothing more romantic. So now I'm thinking about my secondary stickers. I don't think I'm going to want the gold hearts, but I think these will be nice to have in here to bring in some more tones of pink. There's like five of them on this sticker sheet, and I was, when I saved this, I don't know what I thought I was going to be doing with it, but I'm happy that I did save it because it matches with this. It kind of adds into that like playful doodly element of things. So I'm just going to cluster those in. And it's a really faint pink color, so it'll blend nicely into the pages. It's not going to be too loud compared to all of the different patterns that we've got going on. And I like the way that that one kind of layered into that cluster. So this is kind of what we've got going on for this half of the spread. I will need to figure out what I want to do with boxes. And I would love, love, love to have some like red box stickers. I know Mojo Jojo Plans has a full book of red boxes, but I don't own it. So I can't use those because I don't own those. Um, I might need to just do some digging. I could probably find enough red boxes in one of the Whimsy Lux books that have all the boxes in them. I just want to make sure that I have enough for all of the commitments that I have going on this week. And I want them to like match, but I think this red tone that's in the According to Allie Twole should be pretty matchable. So we'll see what happens when we get to that stage. I'm going to go ahead and cut out some more scrapbook paper. That seems to be the most time-consuming element of this spread, but I do think it is a good payoff. So for this one, I'm going to take this blue section and the yellow section, oh, and the red. So I'll do these three down here so I can do something fun at the bottom of this side. Tiny scissors seem to be helping. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to do this with my larger scissors. They're just tiny, tiny gold scissors. So this is kind of a fun, funky shape. It's going to go down here at the bottom of this half of the spread. The edges get a little bent because it's just hard to na uh, navigate the scissors around the fine edges of the scrapbook paper. I feel like I'm using embroidery scissors. They're like small, but still a little clunky. I know. I feel like the X-Acto knife probably is my like best bet to do this. I just don't want to deal with that right now. So we're going to live with the tools that we have. We're already this far in. It doesn't need to be like perfect. Um, maybe I should do it like over here in the corner. Would that be kind of nice? Or should I do it closer to the middle? Because I don't often do that. And then I could have like some floating clusters like there. So I'll do this. It's going to overlap one of the punches a little bit, but that's fine. I will just repunch it with the crocodile when we get a little bit closer. And I don't think this is going to be the one with the two hearts. I think to offset the fact that we have the two hearts over here in this lower left-hand corner, I'm going to want them like up in the upper right. So I'm going to do the my love, my heart heart. <laughs> and for this one, I'm going to layer with one of these tool stickers. Let's go like right here. That looks pretty good. Um, I could do the little vine. I often find that this vine sticker is the hardest one to like make work in the spread. I've gone through a lot of these sheets of the twill, but I've always used the blue or like the black twill. So the red twill is a little bit different for me. 
but that that looks really good so we're gonna keep it oh no stay stay together I just want to pre-layer you please stop <laughs> okay I'm just gonna try to get this on the page in the same way that I have it they don't need to necessarily be stuck together just yet so come on <laughs> okay I was thinking here we could also just go like there or here that's not bad I think I would like it along the edge of this cluster but this just feels right we're gonna go with that and then I'm gonna trim up any overhang definitely gonna need to repunch these pages but that'll come later on in the process so we've got that um as far as these two go I'm probably gonna save them for the cluster with the two hearts so I'm just gonna put the one little embellishment sticker there it's fine um I've got a lot of butterflies left so maybe I'll add one of these in to kind of bring this out towards the edges so we have a little bit of interaction with the outer edges of that cluster I just don't know how many of these I'm going to need to do the two heart cluster so saving as many as possible right now now I need more scrapbook paper I'm going to do something similar to what I did with the purple and just cut around like organic shapes so I think the two I'm going to try to pull are this lilac color and then this like orange creamsicle color and I'm going to do them separately so that I have two clusters of florals. One of them is not going to get any hearts but I think that'll be fine and then probably going to want another one and there's no yellow on this side so maybe I'll cut the yellow too so that I can have a little bit of yellow kind of poking in from the sidebar. This is going to be a little bit of an undertaking and I think the way to do this is maybe to just cut them all as one piece and then cut them apart. That might be helpful because they're all touching. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab these three out of the sheet of scrapbook paper. I feel like I should have done that thing that they do on cooking shows where, you know, you put the unbaked one into the oven and then you pull out the fully banked one that you made ahead of time. I feel like I should have just pre-cut my materials, but it's fine. They're all here. This one has two red ones left on it, but I'm going to cut them off anyway because this one's going to go off the edge of the page. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Tombow to the back of this. This is going to be one of those ones that doesn't really get anything layered on top of it. I just want like a pop of color up at the top of the sidebar, especially because there isn't any yellow on this half of the spread. So I'm going to flip this over. We've got part of my monthly right back here. And I can hold on to the scrap that I cut off because maybe I'm going to want it on the other side. I'm not sure yet. But I do think it looks pretty good up there to bring some additional color in. So this is what we've got left of that. Um, as far as the other ones go, let's see what we can do. I think I'm gonna want them layered on top of this like purple one maybe? That's the most contrast. This is kind of similar in color, so I want the most contrast where I'm layering stuff. And it's gonna go probably up here on Saturday, Sunday. I don't think I have any very big, exciting weekend plans. I am recording a new podcast episode. You can check out our podcast. It's called Professionally Planned with Caitlin and M. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all of those platforms. I have it linked down below. And my planner bestie M and I talk about planners, as the title suggests. Could be cool to have this kind of go up into the top part of the spread too. So I'm gonna do that again. I like the way that it loops around Saturday. And now we've got our two little heart, our conversation heart kind of stickers. And I think this is a fun play on like the idea of conversation hearts, you know, the candies that have little messages on them. I like that she's done these like really decorative. They remind me of those like really pretty sugar cookies that people decorate or like the ones with the royal icing. I love those things. So that's kind of what's going through my mind here. I'm going to layer love you more or should I have done... Love you lots above it, yeah. If we're going for like this kind of conversation between the two hearts. And then this one's gonna layer on top of this. And I'm gonna have that go right here. And we're just kind of gently layering everything. And now I can push them down onto the page now that I've kind of figured out the layout. Um, a little butterfly maybe. And then our other bird. 
Where did I put the other bird? It's up there. Okay. I just don't want them to be like super close, but I like how this looks right on top of those purple flowers. I think it's a fun pop of color. Gonna cut the excess off here. I don't think I need this little scrap, but it's so cute. Um, when I have little scraps like this where I just don't know what I would do with them, sometimes I'll line them up against the edge of stickers just to make it look like they were layered on top of something because it's still enough red to suggest that there is something behind there. So I'm gonna use it the, to frame out the Love You More. Got one more butterfly. And then we're done with the red twill. Um, this one could go maybe over here in this cluster. Two sheets of stickers already done. And then I have this piece of scrapbook paper that hasn't gone anywhere yet. And maybe it could be fun to have it go between the two pages. I don't know if I like that as much. Even if it just went like a little bit between the two though, that could be cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and Tombow this one. And this also means this is the end of cutting up the little daisies because I, or the little like daisy print scrapbook paper because I don't want to do any more of that. It's kind of a pain. I didn't think it was going to be this much of like an endeavor when I started the spread, but we're doing it for the planner. This one's going to go right here. Hopefully not a lot of plans on Thursday. And if I do, it could be fun to layer some boxes on top of the scrapbook paper cluster. So these are gonna get cut apart. And maybe I should take the time now to repunch my pages, but I wanna get these little decorative things in. So I'm just gonna add my little confetti pieces. Got one there, the second one. Maybe it should go down here with this cluster because this already has a lot going on. Let's just go ahead and put it right there in the bottom cluster. Another sheet of stickers done. I'm gonna go ahead and repunch these pages using my crocodile punch. I have the last little scrap of this. I am gonna cut off all the weird pointy angles and then those red flowers down here because I feel like maybe just a little pop of it down here might be nice. And I probably could have kept the red flowers on here because there are clusters or pieces of the scrapbook paper that have multiple flower colors but to just really go and highlight the ones that are just the single colored pieces of scrapbook paper I'm going to do just the yellow flowers and this is going to live kind of lower down on Sunday I just want to leave enough room to write in plans if I have them so this will go right down there so we're going to figure out boxes now I'm flipping through the older whimsy Lux book they're a lot of sheets have fallen out of my copy. This is the Valentine's Day or like the February boxes from last year and I want to color match this red. I feel like this red is going to be the closest thing but I'm going to need more boxes than just the red ones. I could do the red and I could do this like purpley pink because I feel like it matches well with like the lavender color but I don't want to make things too complicated. I think I want to just do one color of boxes across the board. So we've got that and now we need to find a page that would match with it. So I think this is pretty close. Like there's a slight difference between these two colors of red. I think this one's a little more orangey, um, but that's an option. We've got the 4th of July ones, which are too dark. The 4th of July red is a little bit darker. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip on those. We've got these ones. This is even orangier than this. I'm just trying to pick two that will like blend a little bit seamlessly like they don't have to be the exact same match I don't think they ever will be this is that darker red again okay um I think the first set that I looked at matched the best okay this is really fa falling apart today too oops I'm just gonna take it out they're all coming out anyway and I'm gonna try to just alternate between the two sheets because I know that they're different colors so I'll use these skinnier boxes to mark work shifts. So we'll start up here for that. And maybe if I kind of cluster them together, like if I use the two of the same ones and they're next to each other, that'll help kind of provide a little bit of continuity. I'm not sure how to mix and match these in the way that'll like make them blend 
better, but we're going to give it a shot. This is kind of peeling up on the edge because I didn't get the Tombow all the way to the edge. So I'm going to take my Zig two-way glue pen. I got this one at Joann's and I'm just going to put a little bit under there to keep those edges down. I find that this just helps with like if stickers are peeling up or you want to put a sticker on top of washi tape and the washi tape is too glossy to hold the sticker down. I find this glue pen works really well for that. So I just do little touch-ups with it. It's a pretty nice addition to your planner toolkit. So we've got the Monday, we got the Tuesday ones. And maybe I just try to use as many of these as possible and then we'll just like supplement one, supplement them with that. So I've got an appointment after that, or maybe it's before. Timeline-wise, it is before. So we're gonna flip-flop that and just peel up this box. I could put them like down lower in the box or we could just start right here. That's not bad. We're doing it again. I'm putting them in the wrong order. So this one's gonna live right here. I just wanna have room above it for like some checklist items. I'll probably put bullet points directly on the pages and then just write directly in the planner. I won't have bullet points that'll match these boxes though. That's gonna be the annoying thing. Maybe I could find some that match like the pink or just like another color from the spread. It's already super colorful. So if I could even find like yellow bullet points, that wouldn't be the end of the world. So those are gonna be there. Not a lot of plans for Wednesday, but my rent is due. So I probably will want a box for that. They're close, like they're really close. And I think you can probably tell on camera they are close, but they're not exactly a match, but I think they're, they're okay. So that one's gonna go there for Wednesday. I need another one of the skinnier boxes for Thursday. So I'm happy I picked that second sheet because I'm gonna go through all of the skinny boxes that I had. I'll put this one here so that I can do bullet points up in that top section. And then it'll be nice and kind of like balanced with that. So one's at the top and one's at the bottom. And then Nick and I have some date night plans on Friday. So I'll take one of the larger boxes and I'm gonna tuck it right behind the scrapbook paper so that there's some overlapping. I didn't want it to be on top of the scrapbook paper. So I think maybe behind might be best. And I'm gonna center it in the box, even though it's not gonna be in line with this sticker right down here. This is kind of peeling up on me too. So going back in with that glue pen. And it does pretty well on top of like ink. It doesn't really smudge ink or anything. And it's archival too. Uh, it goes on blue. It's a very slight blue, but it dries clear. So even if you get it all over the place, it's not gonna dry and leave a blue spot in the middle of your planner. So we've got that, and then I have a podcast recording with M on Saturday morning. So I'll take this sticker for that. And I might have a Zoom call or like a planner meetup thing after that. So I'm going to take another one of these boxes. And luckily these line up with the box next to it. So I think that makes me happy. I've used all of the red boxes except for the half circle one. And I never use the half circle ones off of these sheets. Um, they're just like not the shape that I use in my planner. So this sheet is done. If I need to add in more plans as the week goes on, I'm gonna hold on to this one. For the additional red boxes, I'll probably have something come up. So this will kind of come in handy for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these back into the Whimsy Lux book. And even though I was just using boxes out of that, I will link it down below in the description of this video in case you're interested in getting one for yourself. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, maybe it would be more visually interesting just to have the boxes in the middle row. So I'm gonna do a little bit of readjusting with the Monday, Tuesday ones. It's been a while since I did something like that. All the bullet points can go in the top and bottom boxes and then these ones will just live in the middle. So these ones are gonna get bumped up trying to think about how these go in order of time during the day. And then the Monday box will have to move down. But luckily they peel up pretty well off of the Happy Planner pages. And if I need to like re-glue something, I can just use that pen again. But I think that worked out well. And I like the red color. I think that's really fun with the red tool and I think it makes it pop a bit more. I'm feeling pretty pleased with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it back onto the discs and just get a good look at it. 
I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. I like the organic shapes of the scrapbook paper and I think they look really good together. The colors are super fun and it's a nice middle ground between the two things that I thought I would be doing in my planner this week with the twill and the hearts and then the scrapbook paper. And now that I look at it together, I think if I had done either combo, like just the hearts and the twill, it would seem a little empty or just the hearts and the scrapbook paper, I would need to pull in something else anyway. So I like that it all kind of came together in this way and that I could just use up some of my Valentine's Day stickers. I have a whole pile of them of just things I want to use in February. So I'm happy to get these on the pages. And I think it's really fun. It's a nice take on Valentine's Day without like being super monochromatic because that's one thing I just like, I like it. And when I did this, I went kind of monochromatic, but for this, we're going a little bit more colorful and I, I don't hate it. So this is what I've got for the first week of February. There you have it. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning.